team is in uh, one location and the scrum master is in another location so how does he take care virtually about all these things about uh, how what are their daily impedances clearing mm-hmm, work mm-hmm. planning how 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 would he responsible for that uh, in that situation now uh nowadays this this thing will ask more and more because everything is becoming virtual and uh, yeah. uh, 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 uh and i i believe again um, one may not have ready made examples for it but going forward uh, this will be more and more frequently explored area whenever someone hire new member uh, because he might be working for rem- from remote for a long and as well as a scrum master or someone who might be dealing and facilitating multiple remote team members so this is something is is going to be a quite frequently uh, asked thing now uh, i don't think there are clearly defined patterns out of it uh, but uh, again i would say that first is we need to have a clarity of the structure the process now uh, 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 in in a face to face your structure and processes were visual boards uh, impediments visualization and people sitting in the one place common room and everybody discussing thing yeah so in a in a remote and online mode you need to come up with alternative structures so alternative structure could be your electronic task boards electronic work management system could be your slack channel or or some other channel where things are are continuously discussed uh, some frequent uh, online interaction like uh, we are doing where people sync up and and know how things are and frequent scrum ceremonies or other ceremonies where everybody is synchronously meeting through their online space so this is something is is expected to to get designed now resolving impediment many time these impediment also even if you sit in a same office you don't do much physical work yeah you may call the guy yeah you may you say you have an impediment your customer is not responding to a particular query and which is blocking your team to move forward or the other team is not agreeing to a particular api and which is blocking you to move forward yeah and and team has done their best but they are not getting help and they want you as a scrum master to find out uh, and get an agreement on the api so that they can move forward and that falls under your uh, bucket now so doesn't matter you are sitting in the same office or you are sitting uh, somewhere else uh, because the most of the interaction is going to happen in a digital mode only especially in nowadays even in the same building you end up having having an agreement using some tools using some emails using some phone calls so you you manage through that so you need to present some examples of an impediment and you can show that these are all of the impediment i can resolve uh, uh, remotely as well so one of the possible way to effectively answer this question in my view could be that you can pick up four five impediment which you might have resolved uh, at least for answering say, sake in the last one month and says that these were the five impediment and i can see these are matching with the trend which i have been following for last four five years and many of these impediments can be resolved uh, uh, remotely as well because this is how i do okay yeah so so uh... Uh, is it also possible that team also can resolve their own impediments why not uh, why not without, no, I... without the scrum master being because if it is a self organizing team the small uh, issues like suppose for an example is an impediment by say the ram size is low so they're not able to you know do the technically they're not able to fast uh, the code the code is not getting uh, you know it's it's dependent on that size and uh, or there is some uh, tools which they have to install or something but the ram is not supporting or that is something dependent thing so when they can raise a ticket and resolve it on their own Why so not? those were the impediments where the team have resolved on its own so for that if a person a scrum master is virtual or within the te- within the organization along with them sitting alongside they are still working on their impediments i'm just there for the external factors which they cannot do it Perfect. so at, in that situation also virtually i can even if i'm virtually everything is digitalized so i'm going to anywhere write emails or i'm going to raise tickets to help them resolve the impediments if i'm virtually located yeah 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 perfect 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 so that's that's the thing and and, and i think i think for a small small impediments like ram and all those things you may also tell that i train my team more and more so uh, because i train my team on the processes how can possibly they can resolve such kind of things by using the organization processes so i don't have to 
uh, like they don't have to wait for me it, it now yeah that's an important language difference so right. you don't have to tell that so that you don't have to do it you are not worried about you have to do it or do, you don't have to do mm-hmm. it but they can do it faster so you know if if i have an impediment and i can resolve myself i get it fast if i have an impediment i come to you and you resolve it though you want to resolve it but that also brings some delay so you are saying that i have a continuous effort mm-hmm. to make my team more and more capable of resolving at least internal impediments for which the processes are very clear because i don't want to be a bottleneck in the process uh, i why to introduce a delay so i i, I make them more and more uh, uh, capable yeah that's a good idea